Denise, congratulations. It's, seen, it's been since the World Championships in Estesun that you were waiting for another pursuit victory. So how does it feel to finally get it? Yeah, it seems so. Yeah, sometimes I think oh, maybe a sprint is working really well now and pursuit it's a bit... But yeah, today it was a really cool race and after third shooting it was so cool to look around and have the same girls around me like in the World Champs here in Antwerp and it was a special moment. I saw this also. I felt really uh, comfortable with the age around me. <laughs> And yeah, I think that makes that gives me a really positive uh, déjà vu. <laughs> and yeah, it was really fun to race in Antwerp. I, I love this tracks here really much, and I was also here for uh, over a new year. And yeah, it's, I know my body really well here on this track, so I can how I move on every part of the track. And yeah, in the last loop, I tried to push hard as possible, and then I felt that I get more, earn more seconds between me and Lisa and yeah, it was really fun to have the last yeah, 400 meters that I can enjoy a bit, also with 10 Lactat. <laughs> can you tell us about the, the final shooting? Because I think this is like what makes Biathlon so fantastic for us, but maybe so stressful for you? No, I try to have the same feeling like as a spectator. I think this is what Biathlon makes so interesting. and. And everyone has to uh, make their own thing, their own work, and stay on your lane. But all the time you feel a bit what is next to you. And, and I know I have really fast shooters around me. And yeah, for me it was clear that I have to do my own job, and also on lane one. But yeah, that makes Spideland so interesting, and this is everything what counts, and to, uh, to accept the situation and also the challenge. You seemed in uh, best ski form and uh, does that even make you a bit more comfortable? As you said in the final shooting, you know, they were shooting fast, but you were very strong on skis too. Yeah, I felt it during the beginning, also from the last competitions. Um, I have a good energy now and also a good recovery between the races. And for me, the main important thing to stay healthy at the next weeks or till the World Champs start. And yeah, when everything works, I think, I, or I hope I can yeah, be in, the good, in the, my best shape of the year and yeah, have a really interesting and fair races. And I hope for the whole team that we can rock Oberhof and enjoy the atmosphere and the emotions. Now, carrying this emotion of the win or the great result to the World Championships, uh, is that even like a, an extra uh, spice maybe? Like knowing that, okay, this was good, I can carry on. Yeah, it is not because it's the last individual race. It is also so special for me because it's an Antold. It's a really a, a special place also for me. And yeah, it's, it's good to have these feelings and get with these feelings in the break. But I know after competition is before next competition and it's a totally new start. And we will have other conditions, other things around. And yeah, it will be a new challenge, but I think I'm ready for it and also the whole team is ready for it and look, look forward to uh, the start of the World Champs and the big passion for Biathlon in Germany. So what's the plan between now and Oberhof? <laughs> yeah, I will go to Seisalm tomorrow with my husband and I'm looking forward the whole year to this week and yeah, I would like to enjoy and come in a good mood for the World Champs and relax a bit but also uh, yeah, a bit skiing in the thin air, it's a bit more high than here and but the main important thing is to stay healthy. Eat a lemon more every day. <laughs> <laughs> then enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa, congratulations. Uh, second place in a pursuit in Antols. How special is today? Yeah, it's really special. Uh, uh, it was really hard to, to back on, oh, sorry, <laughs> on, the, on the top uh, if you have uh, 45 uh, seconds behind and but uh, I really want to, to to shoot clean today and uh, uh, I just uh, I was focused on my work and uh, it, it uh, went well. <laughs> Absolutely you, you said after the sprint that uh, you knew where you made the mistake and the prone uh, did you focus on each shot and knowing what happened uh, two days ago? Yes, uh, um, on the sprint uh, I was uh, um, I lost uh, the the concentration and uh, I really mad of myself and uh, I didn't want to repeat the, the mistakes again and uh, uh, all the the shot I work for for zero and uh, yeah uh, it's really nice to to have the shoot clean. 
How special is it to do it in Antos? Because I know in the past uh, you had a bit of love and hate relationship with this place. Yes, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, today I felt very well, and uh, also with all the people that come from cheering me, and uh, all my family and friends uh, uh, push me in uh, in a level that uh, I didn't know. <laughs> Actually, at the finish, uh, all the crowd was uh, calling your name. How special is it to feel this support? Yeah, it, re it was amazing. And uh, uh, they pushed me um, uh, at the finish line and uh, uh, I, I was really happy. In Rupolding, you had the clean shooting in individual and very fast ski time. It looked like today you might have been a bit more tired. So how even more important was the focus at the range. Yeah, uh, when I started, uh, I I, re I felt that uh, I was not on my best uh, shape. Uh, I was really tired, but uh, I uh, told myself to be focused and uh, managed all the race in a in a good way. And uh, I really work uh, good today, and uh, I'm, I'm really happy. You should be. Congratulations, Thanks. Elvira. Congratulations, another podium here. If uh, one week ago, when you were lying in bed sick, they told you about two podiums in Nantos, what would you have thought? Uh, I wouldn't really believe it. <laughs> I've, uh, from the start, I've been a bit worried about this weekend, like the entire year, because I usually struggle quite a lot here on the altitude. I've never been in the top 10 even here. Uh, so also, and then being sick the week before, I was quite a bit nervous <laughs> how this would go. Uh, so super happy with the two third places and uh, yeah, it feels good. How special is the crowd here? Because it really seems very loud. Yeah, it's, it's really loud. And especially when you have the Italians and German girls who are close around you, it's, uh, it's really loud. You struggle on hearing what the coaches are saying to you. Uh, but it's nice. It's so nice that we can have the audience back and uh, the atmosphere here is amazing. Uh, you said about the struggle with the altitude, but today you looked very strong on the skis, especially in the first loop and then in the middle of the race. So did that match your feelings as well? Yeah, I wanted to try to be a bit more aggressive on the skis today. And also I had amazing skis. Our waxers did an incredible job today. They always do, but today they really found something different. So I... I, the body felt better today also, and uh, of course I struggled with following the knees a bit, uh, but, <laughs> but it, was, it was a tough race, and, uh, the, but the body felt better, and that uh, that's, means a lot to the, to the world champs in a couple of weeks. Speaking of that, obviously today was a good chance to close in the fight for the yellow bib, but now it's uh, changing the focus maybe? Yeah, now we have to put the, the total score aside a bit uh, until after the World Champs because now it's only medals that counts basically. <laughs> so, no, it, I think it will be a close fight until the end with the yellow bib. Uh, but uh, now it's now it's Oberhof in the in the goal. So what's the plan between now and Oberhof? Uh, we will go home to Östersund, uh, have a pre-camp with the team there. Uh, it's uh, It will be nice to be at home for a few weeks and uh, we have really good conditions there, so it will be perfect. Congratulations. Thank you.